You look like you're about to rush the stage. <laughs> Back off, lady. Um, it's lovely to see you all. Thank you very much uh, for coming. And particularly to you, uh, because it does sound like your work ethic isn't that high. <laughs> you, you, don't, you don't like leaving your home that much. Yeah, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you do like doing nothing, don't you? Yeah, it, I, it, I hate to say it, but uh, my, mom, my mom probably won't be too proud, but my favorite thing to do is absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Just will sit on the couch forever if you let me. But also, I like the idea of being at your house, because most of us, you know, we might have a, a Wii or a dartboard or something, but you have, like, big toys at your house to play with, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I got, a, <laughs> got some cool toys. I got a big, huge bulldozer to play with. That's, uh... Like, it's life-size. I mean, it's not like a Tonka toy. It's, no, it, big. Do, do you big. have buildings you can destroy with it? <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll build them, knock them down, put them back up, knock right. them down. It's kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> He's not even joking. He really does have a big bulldozer that he just drives around. Well, not at the house, the garden. Yeah, no, not in the garden. It's, a, it's at this big piece of property I have, and uh, have a motocross track there, so we use it to make the jumps and do all that kind of stuff. Life is good, isn't it? That's, how nice is that? It's not, well, it's nice to be here, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they can bulldoze or soon. Yeah. <laughs> do you two know each other at all? Have you met before? Yes. yes. Just about a couple minutes ago. Yeah. Oh, not before this. Oh, charm, isn't it? Oh, right, okay. Yes. Because Lee, uh, Lee down the end, he's... Did you just say Lee down the end? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's where you are. Can you hear him? Can you hear him, right? Yeah, I can hear him. I can hear him. It's like a, some sort of raffle. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate my, my purpose on the sofa tonight. I, it's like the three ages of showbiz, isn't it? <laughs> it starts off like that, then it gets a bit like that, and then you're, you're haggard like this. <laughs> so, so, Get yourself I, over here. I've <laughs> pressed them. <laughs> <laughs> I have actually, I've, I've met, uh, well, I haven't met, but I sort of met you before. Well, not really met. I was, uh, well, I was in America about five years ago, and oh, I, was, that's right, I was so excited. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You too. And, <laughs> yeah. and I was in a, in a studio, uh, sort of car park, about to have this meeting, and I was very excited because I hadn't been to the States before, and, and, and you went past on, like, a golf buggy at this studio, which I presume you were making a show or it was a very bad golf shot. <laughs> you went past, and I thought, well, you're, you know, you're on telly, I'm on telly, I'll wave. And I went, hey, uh, nothing. <laughs> yeah, well, what do you expect? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> after tonight. Beat me down. After tonight. tonight. <laughs> now, uh, Amelia Clark, did you get to yes. chat with everyone backstage? Um, yeah, kind of. Did you get to talk to him? Yeah, kind of, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Amelia Clark loves Matt LeBlanc. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I'm actually blushing. Um, yeah, I just think you're wicked. <laughs> it's a game of two halves. Uh, I, I, I think Dominic's wicked. Oh, no. oh. Yeah. 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 baby yes. in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> but actually, now, is it your daughter? I'm sure you like Matt LeBlanc too, Kate. Hugely. But your, your daughter is quite the fan. A huge fan. She's a big friends obsessive. Mm -hmm. She could go and master. Are you? Yes. Oh, we should have <laughs> <laughs> Dominic, do you have a relative, a friend, who's a fan of Matt's? Oh, many, 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 many. I mean, All I think right. my mum would pass out now if she knew I was sitting here with you. And I'm obsessed with the new job you've got, which I've really, really wanted. Oh. oh yeah. I shouldn't have said that out loud, should I? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's the best job in the world. Working in the coffee shop, the one in... Yeah. <laughs> the new one. The top it's gear. Fun. And uh, are you returning the favour? Do you watch Game of Thrones, Matt? I watched it the first season, and then I kind of fell out of it, and then I tried to watch it this that's season. Okay, that's okay. And I don't know that's what's okay. going on. I just keep up. I feel There's so lots bad. of stuff going on. There's so yeah. much going on. There is. There really is. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I mean, right. I, I could lie, but I don't want to lie. I'm a no, guy. no, no, no. You've seen the good. You've seen the good bits. You've seen the first season. <laughs> no, I, it's tough. Is it all downhill from now? No. <laughs> but this, what is it? It's season six now. It's season six. And it's bigger than ever. Yeah. Whose laugh is that? <laughs> that <laughs> seriously sounds like a chicken has been released into the studio. They can't be. No. Is that a, I, I was going to stop because I thought there was a mechanical fault with something. <laughs> but that's a human being. <laughs> Oh, it's that man there. All oh, right, well, I'm glad you're having Don't a nice me. time. <laughs> Yuck it up. I will. I will. I, will. I, will. I, will. I, will. I know, no, I know. I do have one slight request from you, though. What's uh -oh. um, So, would you, would you be able to ask me how I'm doing? Oh, yes, do that. <laughs> oh. 
you, you can say no. Everyone will hate you, but you can say no. Uh, <laughs> no. Yes. Uh, well, since I, you know, haven't been up up to speed on the show, I will, yes. I will say. Yes. Thank um, you. Yeah. How are you doing? <gasps> yeah. <laughs> It was. Yes, it did. It what, well. what was really embarrassing is when Matt walked out, I went, how are you doing? <laughs> and then I was like, oh, shut up. What are you doing? Are you familiar with Rebels? Oof. Wait, uh, what? Your work, or body of work. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> because, because, <laughs> because, <laughs> because Rebel, Rebel before the show, mm -hmm. uh, you had an extraordinary confession. This is, this is mind-blowing. Okay, um, I've never seen Friends. <laughs> How did you avoid okay, it? Okay, but it's one of those things, like, I've never slept with Channing Tatum, but <laughs> eventually it's, it's going to happen. <laughs> uh, you, you said that you, you were quite... Not, well, lazy. Well, lazy. And, uh, <laughs> God love America. Uh, home of the lazy, but also, also the kind of computer geek. And uh, we tracked down this, well, I say labour-saving device. I'm not sure what labour it saves, but it is quite clever. It's these American students, right? And uh, they're called uh, Ryan Rosnack and Graham Farrow. Right? And they posted on, on YouTube this... Uh, imagine how clever you'd have to be to make this work, but then how lazy you'd have to be to want it to work. So here's, here's their invention. So basically they've got a fridge and they've got an iPhone app. <laughs> so select what beer you want, it falls out, right? <laughs> and then he has to direct a little crosshair thing so it fires in the right direction. You've got it. Right. You do think by now he might have crossed the room, opened yeah. the door and got it. <laughs> Okay. So now he's going to press fire. <laughs> there it goes. There it is. So now, basically, yeah. that there's only one of these in the world, and that's it, right? The one in their university dorm room. Okay. Uh, but they've sent it to us. So <laughs> over there, that is the actual fridge <laughs> that you just saw. Now, Matt, are you good at catching? I hope so, if you're going to fire a beer. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> it's not firing at you. Do you want to have a go? Hell yeah. yeah. OK, you go sit in the chair. You go sit right in the there. chair. OK, I'll say it because I've got the iPhone again. OK. So, you're sitting comfortably? Yeah? <laughs> OK, I can offer you a selection of beers. You're going to Bud Light, Lime, or Select. Uh... A bud select. Okay. That is. So I hit. Okay, there we go. <laughs> now, so I'm scrolling down now. I go to fire. I press fire. There's a little delay. <laughs> Yay! How cool is that? Oh, that's the problem. Oh, that's. <laughs> Wipe it on my jacket. Wipe it on my jacket. No, wipe, wipe it on me. Wipe it on me. No, 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 no. no. Uh, that'll be the design flaw. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, they smell all of booze already. You've talked about uh, France was very bad for you, Matt. Was it France where you had the... Yeah, back in the day. This was uh, going back 100 years or so. <laughs> Napoleon was there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> got off the plane and went to go outside to the car and there was this little French guy there and he oh Matt LeBlanc I love you and he had this he had this picture of a Polaroid does anyone remember what those are <laughs> it was a Polaroid of him and Courtney Cox and it had been like looked like it had been handled a little too much and he was like I need a, a photo of you I need and I said okay just uh, and I got in the car and we Went straight to the hotel. When I got out of the car, there he was. Just waiting. Yeah. <laughs> he has an evil twin with the same photo. <laughs> but then he, like, he grabs me as I'm getting out of the car in the, in the weirdest way. Here, I'll show you. Stand Do up. it. He goes, <laughs> so he goes like this. He puts his arms around me like this and his leg. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> and I can 
feel it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> the leg hug is weird. Yeah. You don't see that very yeah, often. It's a French thing. That's yeah. the French so thing. So I kind of peeled him off me. I mean, yeah. <laughs> went to the side real quick. That was uncomfortable all the way from over here. Yeah. <laughs> Now, I won't even bother to ask, but let's assume others on the sofa haven't seen previous episodes <laughs> or episodes. Uh, what about? Well, Rebel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my oh, my God. God. Oh, my God. Uh, it's a crazy show about making a show in Hollywood and all that could possibly go wrong does. It's uh, pretty out there. And the, and the central premise is that you are Matt LeBlanc. Yeah, I play this um, very accurate, no, not hopefully. <laughs> 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 but, but it has, up to this point, kind of mirrored your life. Yeah. So presumably you do have to be careful where... So the people don't get too confused, like in, in plots involving like your ex-wife or your kids or stuff, you must kind of have to plant a flag and say... Yeah, we have to be careful there. So, sometimes it, it'll... You know, sometimes the line gets a little blurred. Like, like for, for example, in season one, the first season uh, in the show, I go over to my ex-wife's house and I'm really drunk and I have two boys in the show, which is in real life I just have a daughter and two stepkids. But I... Um, I go over to, the, to her house and I want to see my sons and I'm really drunk. And she says, no, you remember what the lawyer said, blah, blah, blah. And I, I say, come on, don't be a, for once, don't be a C-U. Well, yes, we understand. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, so as it, before it airs, I feel like I, I should call my ex-wife <laughs> and say, you know, and just kind of like preface this. So I call, I call up and I say, hey, listen, in the show, I say to my ex-wife, should I call her a... And I just want you to know that it's not a dig at you in any way, shape, or form. I don't, I don't feel that way about you. And it's, it's, it's really, it's just a joke. And it's got nothing, it's no, it's nothing to do with you. And she, I go, all right? And she goes, I don't watch your show. <laughs> This is from uh, the first episode where Matt LeBlanc is getting some bad news. Yo. Matt, Sam from Shamiro. Hey, what's up? I don't know if you heard the news about Larry Penzel. What news? My friend's not good. No? Larry killed himself last night. Holy shit. I know, it's unbelievable. Arlene called me this morning. Evidently, he hanged himself in his garage. Oh, my God. Heartbreaking. His daughter found him. She's only nine. Jesus. Anyway, the funeral's tomorrow if you want to go. Well, I guess I should. He's been my money guy since I got money. I'll text you the information. I'm sorry that you've got bad news. Very upsetting. <laughs> is, is that scene from Matt LeBlanc's life or Matt LeBlanc's life? Uh, I wish. No. It's, no that, there's a, I think that one was based on a, on a story. <laughs> That I all, is it all true? No, no, that's, that one's not true, but it's, it's, I think they got that idea from... I had told one time when we were doing Friends, this, uh, you might have not... You didn't see it. <laughs> uh, I think it was like the third season when the... the uh, I was driving to work, and I was on the 101 in Hollywood, and it was like a parking lot, the, the highway. I'm just stopped traffic, and the windows are up, and there's a girl next to me in a convertible, and she's just rocking out to some song, and I, I can't hear it. So I, I turn my radio off, and I put the window down, and she's playing the Friends theme song. It's like, <laughs> right, full blast. And she happens to look over and see me, and she screams, takes her foot off the brake, and smashes the car in front of me. And I was like, oh. I felt terrible. So I, I put my window up, and, but I couldn't go anywhere. I was like, <laughs> Like an eternity stuck on the freeway next to this accident, and she's trying to get my attention, and I was just 
But I think somehow they got that idea in the show from that story, I, th I think. I don't know. They yeah, did, I think. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, so they tell me. <laughs> Matt LeBlanc, it, presumably it, you, hosting Top Gear is like your dream job. Yeah, it's kind of like this, it's uh, a lot bigger than I thought it was. You know, when I, f when I first did the show, it was fun, and then now being a part of it, I mean, it is a, just an international juggernaut of a show. It's but massive. it's sold in, a, what, 170 territories or countries or something? I don't know. Yeah, so it premieres this Sunday, and by Wednesday, it'll be in 83 countries on six continents already. By Wednesday. Wow. It's, uh, it's just huge. And, and like, how did this happen? Did you call them? Did they call you? Did you bump into someone in a lift? How, how does it happen? <laughs> uh, well, I did, I did it the first time to promote episodes and did the around the track in the car, and that went pretty good. Well, you were the fastest ever, aren't you? Are you yeah. still the fastest ever? Wow. Yeah. No. <laughs> and then um, they did this thing called Top Gear The Races, which was kind of like a greatest hits of Top Gear, and I kind of introduced the clips, shot these little video wraparounds, and that went good. And then Chris was already on board at that point, and they approached me and asked if I would uh, like to be a part of it, and I wasn't doing anything else. I said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And it's been a lot of fun. Chris and I get along good, and it's really fun. Yeah, and you are a proper petrol head. I mean, you do love cars and engines and all that stuff. Yeah, you know, it's funny, like... I've, I'm one of those people I subscribe to, like, about 15 different car magazines. You go over my house, on the coffee table is just stacked up with... Forever I've been doing that. And someone just said to me the other day, finally it's paying off. All those <laughs> <laughs> Who you, knew? Yeah, you were preparing for this job your whole yeah, life. I'm, and I'm, the first I'm, episode I'm part of it is a kind of Britain versus America challenge. Yes, that's right, yeah. So what, what's the challenge? Okay, so do you know the Reliant Robin? Remember that car? Oh, that oh, three oh there they are. Yeah, well, these are Reliant Rialtos, the upgraded one, which <laughs> I don't know what they changed. It's still a, not a very nice car. I've never heard of a Rialto. Anyone? Yeah. The Reliant Robin you've heard of. Yeah, Robin, It was yeah. made famous by Only Fools and Horses, yeah. really, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It was yeah he did a little van, didn't he? Yeah. No, we had one... One of those, didn't he? But it was a van back. A van version. What do they have? Oh, they've got yeah. an open roof. Oh, well, they've cut the roofs oh, off nice. of this it's because it was going to be raining, so they figured it better to have no roof. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's Britain. <laughs> so we have to drive from London to Blackpool in those. Nice. <laughs> and my, mine broke down about ten times. <laughs> <laughs> the worst one. And I think Chris had it fixed because it's USA versus the UK, and we're in English cars. His is painted like the Union Jack. Mine stars and stripes. And mine breaks down repeatedly. His ran like a clock. <laughs> <laughs> Go figure. And, had Matt LeBlanc ever been to Blackpool before? No, he hadn't. <laughs> <laughs> Will Matt LeBlanc be returning? Uh, he might. <laughs> It was, you know, we actually had a really good time. And then you went back to uh, my neck of the woods. You yeah. were in uh, Southern Ireland, West Cork, and uh, yeah, Kerry. Uh, the Ring of Kerry, yeah. and, uh, Dingle, and uh, Killarney, and all that. We did a thing with uh, Rolls Royce over there. Well, that was really fun. Wow. And now, was this woman, was she just taking a picture and you literally drove by? <laughs> <laughs> she was with her girlfriend and they were on their way to the, the, her Hendu, you call it? Like oh, a, yeah, Hendu, a yeah. That's party yeah. we call it in the States. And we were driving up the road. It was me in the new Rolls Royce uh, Dawn, the convertible, and Chris Evans was in his Rolls Royce Corniche from '76. And there was a comparison, old and new. And we're kind of at a red light, and I think it was in Dingle. <laughs> They're walking there, and they come over, hey, and they just took a selfie. <laughs> and I think she put it on Twitter or something, social media, whatever it was. You look genuinely happy. <laughs> <laughs> she had a very short skirt. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't, you, look, you look suspiciously happy. Yeah. <laughs> More of a belt than a skirt. It was her head do. It was her head do. Yeah. Uh, well, we're going to watch a bit. This is from uh, later on in the series. And it's you, basically, it's basically you having a rant at the, the two writers. Okay. okay. I am so sick of these British coming over here and stealing our parts. How is that even legal? Huh? It should be like, okay, you act in your country and we'll act in ours. But no, they sneak in here with their perfect American accents like some magic trick. You know, and no one even knows till it's too late. Then suddenly you see them on a talk show and it's like, holy shit, that guy's English? They're on our TV shows, they're in our movies. They, they, there should be congressional hearings or something. Fucking British people, stay the fuck home. No offense. <laughs> We don't understand it. Yeah, I mean, like, British people don't get it either. It's true, though. I mean, Are we cheaper? No. 
Because we've got to fly you to America. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? It'd be great if it worked both ways, but Americans can't get parts over here, but the English people come over there and they get parts left and right. It's great. It's wrong. It's yeah. wrong. Yeah. And, and they've and been acting longer. It's true. Here, Downton think. Abbey has a few Americans. That's as close as we've gotten. Oh, Shirley MacLaine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Shirley MacLaine, that's it. Yeah. We'll get you guys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the new James Bond, in case people don't know. <laughs> but, in, but in reality, you quite like it here. You spend quite a lot of time here filming episodes. So yeah, I do. I love it here. You've got to like it's it It's a lot now. of fun here, yeah. But I've heard you in American interviews <laughs> talking about life here. It's different. I, yes. <laughs> That you think we're quite drinky. Uh, <laughs> I met Seth. Is quite drinky. <laughs> yeah, it's it's funny. Like you go to um, in in America, if you go to like a bar at lunchtime, it's empty. <laughs> Not here. <laughs> People are like drinking at lunch and then go back running the crane. <laughs> wow! <okay>, careful. <laughs> Uh, it's fine, I guess. You make it sound like a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> and, is it, and you find us quite sweary as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but everyone reacted to that. Everyone's like, yeah. But it sounds so much... It, it sounds sound... better, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you, right? It's, it's like, it's worth two swears of, of ours. Yeah. yeah. It's just... <laughs> it doesn't seem as offensive. It doesn't. With yeah, your yeah, accent. Yeah. It's pronounced and really yeah. accurate. <laughs> it's... it's... <laughs> It's, it takes on a whole different meaning. <laughs> you know, it could mean a, it's several different things. It's the queen swearing. Yeah. yeah. It's beautiful. It's you you beautiful. can get away with it. You're just kind of like, oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it actually made the sentence better. <laughs> but here's the weird thing. Because Matt LeBlanc in, uh, in the show, as we were saying in episodes, yeah. bit of a dick. But Thank in you. life... <laughs> no, in life, lovely Bit man. of a... Oh, OK. No. <laughs> Except I, I was Googling one of my favourite sitcoms, Will and & Grace, and I did see a familiar face in the back of the photograph. <laughs> 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 I love celebrity photobombing. <laughs> the red carpet, that was a good one. <laughs> but now, and when you... I mean, you really get into the English way of life. Do, haven't you been to polo? But that's very English. Yeah. Is, is that fun to go to see Polo? Uh... <laughs> yeah, a lot of horses running around. It was an open bar. Uh, hello? <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly. Yeah, yes, it is very fun. Yeah, yeah. from what I remember. <laughs> So there's, there's some episodes that maybe they're like, no, it was great, but you're sort of not really on very much, are you? But, uh, but then I did encourage them to watch the last, not this last episode, but the episode before, which, in hindsight, might have been not the episode to choose. Because there was a lot of you in that episode. There was a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yes, there was. Yes. yes. That might be the episode to dip into, man. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> sort of place to start. Yeah. I can really see how you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> In terms of acting techniques, uh, I, Matt, I don't know, you, you must remember the, the, those famous uh, episodes of Friends where Joey would explain his acting techniques. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. The Joey acting classes and stuff. Smell the fart acting. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah. yeah. We love, because was that Joey or was that you? No, that was all, that was the writing staff. We had some great writers, but that was, that was really funny. And then there was... Uh, so talk us through sm Smell the Fart. Well, the Smell the Fart acting was, um... <laughs> When, when he was on Days of Our Lives. I can help you out with this. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, when, you, when you forget your line, you kind of go... <laughs> and then you continue and you remember. You continue, that's that's it. totally... I was and captivated. It, yeah, it, I it, looks, it is very similar to... <laughs> okay. Yeah, and you can do it more subtle, too, just to... And then we... <laughs> And then we did another one where uh, Joey uh, was teaching a, uh, an acting class for soap operas. <laughs> and, uh, like, if you have to cry, you cut a hole in your pocket, and you take a tweezers, and you just start pulling. <laughs> Good idea. Yeah, I've pinched thing. myself a few times. Yeah. Yeah. The problem yeah. is I like it. <laughs> if you have to be, like, perplexed, you just uh, think of some long division. <laughs> It was fun. It was a lot of fun. But that wasn't, I mean, that wasn't like improv like, like these guys do. It wasn't, that was all, I, I can't take any credit for that. It was all the writers. 
Yeah, but it, you still got it. You still got it. Yeah. Still, but I, had, I mean, I had to sell it, but it was... But uh, also, now that you know those things, like, do you find yourself <laughs> ever, when you're actually properly acting, thinking, shit, I just did smell the fart? <laughs> no. <laughs> Thing. Mm -hmm. Now, because Ricky, you've met Matt before, haven't you? Um, yeah, he won't remember this. It was only about a month and a half ago, two oh, months ago. Oh, I thought this was years ago. No, no, it was very, wow, recent, so very recently. <laughs> I'm still on a bit of a high from it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember Matt? Nope. <laughs> See, he won't remember. <laughs> but um, there's a photograph, there's photographic evidence. Um, it's on my Twitter. And uh, I, I, if you look at the photograph, you can see someone's oh, more excited. Oh, does anyone have pants on in the photo? Uh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, so I'm just night. checking. <laughs> you can see someone's a lot happier to be in that photograph than someone else in the photograph. Oh, <laughs> I, I hear you. And I was giddy. I was giddy for weeks. <laughs> I'm contractually obliged to ask you about the voice. Yep. Um, are you have we not got a picture of the, the picture of me meeting Matt? Oh, do we have that picture? I'd love it if you did. No. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Apparently, it never happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, somebody, somebody's now scrolling through Twitter. Yeah. So we'll keep talking till it, till we find, till we find, till we find it. No, have we found? Are we finding it? Oh, they'll never get it. Okay, I'll be told to get on with it. Uh, <laughs> if, they find, if they find it, we'll find it. It's a great photograph. <laughs> I'm wearing a woolly hat, and you're wearing a Mac. A Mac. A what, Mac. What's a Mac? Okay. <laughs> It's, what is it? It's like a laptop. A <laughs> black double-breasted raincoat. Oh, oh hey, okay. actually, I think we can see the picture. Yes. This is this is the two. Yes. Of them. <laughs> <laughs> How happy am I? <laughs> that shows the spectrum of happiness. <laughs> in that, one, <laughs> in that one photo. Wait, no, Matt doesn't look that pissed off. <laughs> you, look, well, you, you look benign. <laughs> there is an element of, like, invasion of personal space there. Yeah. <laughs> there, is, there is a slight whiff of smell the fart. <laughs> 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 Looks like you smelled a great fart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> great, guys. Nearly it, but before we go, we have time for a story from the big red chair. Who's there? Hello. Hello. Great. Hi. How you doing? I'm really good. Who are you? I'm Ramsey. It's Ramsey, yeah. everyone! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and, uh, where are you from, Ramsey? I'm from Kent, but I live in Loughton. Loughton! <laughs> and, uh, do, do you do something in Loughton? I live there. Great! <laughs> OK, that's a full-time Amelia, Amelia, you are gorgeous, by the way. If it don't work out with Joey, give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>